Hello dear learners, welcome to Massive Open Online Course on Swayam, an annual preparatory program for enhancement in academics and revision, which is also known as APPEAR in English for class 12th. I am Heman, consultant CIT and CRT, New Delhi and with me is Professor Keerthi Kapoor from the Department of Education in Languages, NCRT, New Delhi. I welcome you ma'am to the session. Thank you Heman. And a very warm welcome to our students also. Right. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about invitation, invitation writing. Okay ma'am. Hmm. So ma'am before starting the topic, uh, I think uh, we shall discuss about the learning outcomes of this module so that we can make our learners understand what all they will be achieving at the end of the module. Very right Heman. Right. Uh, after going through this module, learners will be able to achieve these learning outcomes. Okay. First one, mm -hmm. they will be able to understand what an invitation is mm -hmm. and why we write it. Right. We must know the purpose also. Right, ma'am. And the next one is they will be able to differentiate between different types of invitations. Right. They will also learn to write invitations and give reply to them. Perfect. Okay. So, um, what are some of the occasions when we write invitations? Yes, that's a very valid question. Mm -hmm. We must know that mm -hmm. before we start writing. Right. As a student, you may have to organize events at your school mm -hmm. such as cricket tournament, sports day or whole functions such as celebrations of birthday, housewarming etc. Several times in your career also, you will find that either you write invitations or give reply to them. So it is not only for class 12. If you learn to write this, it's going to be a lifelong learning. Right. Writing invitation is an important form of communication we must learn. In this module, we will discuss how to write invitations and give reply to them. Right ma'am. So ma'am, before telling our students how to write and what all format we follow to write the invitation, first uh, let's discuss what is an invitation and why do we write it. Okay, writing invitations. Mm -hmm. Invitation is a form of communication either printed on a card or written in the form of a letter. Mm -hmm. So there are two ways. Right. Through invitations, we invite a guest on some auspicious occasion or request them to do something. Right. For example, inaugurate a function mm -hmm. or be the chief guest for some school function mm -hmm. or birthday party etc. Right. So these are some of the occasions. Right ma'am. I am talking about bo both formal and informal. informal. Yes. Okay ma'am. That means invitations are of two types, mm -hmm. formal and informal. And what is the difference between the two? Yes, we must understand the difference between the two right. before we start writing. Mm -hmm. There are two types of invitations. You right. have rightly pointed out, right. formal and informal. informal. Mm -hmm. There is a difference between the two in terms of their format, right. their characteristics, mm -hmm. their tone mm -hmm. and choice of words, words etc. Right. Let us first talk about formal invitations. Mm -hmm. Formal invitations are both printed and in the form of a letter. Right. Okay. Printed formal invitations are generally sent to friends, relatives, acquaintances on social occasions. Mm -hmm. Let us first discuss about the format of formal, formal invitations. invitations. Each of the following details is written in a separate line with fonts of varying sizes. Mm -hmm. And the details are Mm -hmm. Name of mm -hmm. the host or hosts, mm -hmm. name of the invitee mm -hmm. or invitees, mm -hmm. if the invitation is in the letter form, right. formal phrase of invitation, mm -hmm. for example, solicit your gracious presence on the auspicious occasion, right. request the pleasure of your benign presence, mm -hmm. company, right. Request the honor of your presence. Mm -hmm. You are cordially invited to. Mm -hmm. You see, these are some of the phrases that we use. Right, ma'am. When we are writing a formal, formal invitation. invitation. 
Right. Then the next step is occasion, the reason for the invitation. Mm -hmm. Next step, date, time and venue of the occasion. occasion. So these are some of the things mm. one has to keep in mind. Right, ma'am. Mm. So, ma'am, you have rightly uh, pointed out this thing that what is formal invitation and what kind of phrases we use while writing formal invitations. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's talk about some features of formal invitation where we can talk about how we write formal invitations properly. Absolutely. Yeah. So, the features of formal invitation. A formal invitation is generally written in the third person. Right. Remember, it is written in the third person. Mm -hmm. This grammatical point is important. Right. It is meant for both mm -hmm. the masses and an individual. Mm -hmm. In the case of an invitation to the masses, the name of the invitee is not included. Mm -hmm. That means so many people are there. Masses means group. Right. The invitee's address is written only on the envelope. Mm -hmm. Whereas in case of the invitation to an individual, the name of the invitee is included. Right. Now, next step is that you have to keep in mind, if a VIP is invited as a chief guest to preside over a function, the name of the VIP must appear prominently. That's important. Hmm. The next step is the tone of formal invitation is polite, pleasant hmm. and courteous. Hmm. Because the kind of phrases that we discussed in the beginning, okay. they all will help us, mm. you know, show that, you know, our tone is Very pleasant, pleasant. Yeah. it is courteous. Mm. And simple present tense is used. Right. The date of writing is not mentioned. The signature of the host is not important. The abbreviation RSVP derived from the French phrase responde s'il vous plaît meaning please respond, mm -hmm. is written below on the left side. Mm -hmm. The suggested word limit is 50 words. Right. So you must be thinking that why 50 words only? Right. Because we have to be brief. Yes. Here comes the ABC of writing. Right. Accuracy, mm -hmm. brevity mm -hmm. and clarity. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We cannot write an invitation in 100 or 200 words. It's not an right, essay. Right. It's an invitation. Right. It has to be precise. Right, ma it has to be clear. Mm -hmm. Let us now look at an example. Mm -hmm. Hemant, can I ask you to read the invitation for the students? Sure, ma'am. So, the invitation is as follows. Mrs. and Mr. Sujoy Das solicit your gracious presence on the auspicious occasion of their son's marriage, Rohit with Rajni daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Ankit Arora. On 18th October 2020 at 7.30 p.m. at Abhinandan Hotel, Nayagar. RSVP with best compliments from, then you can write the name and then all relatives. So, is it a formal or an informal invitation? Ma'am, it is formal invitation. Yeah. And uh, because it is uh, written on printed card mm -hmm. and then we have used a uh, particular language, formal language and phrases. Yes, very right. So, what are its features? Uh, as you have already shared uh, with the students that, you know, it is on a printed card. Mm -hmm. And also the language that we have used is mm -hmm. also formal. formal. A formal invitation is written in the form of a letter also. Right. It's possible. Mm -hmm. In case it is meant for an individual, hmm. let us look at an example. Right. Now, once again, I request you, Heman, to read it for the students. Sure, ma'am. Hmm. Sagar Public School, Bhopal, 5th November 2020. The Deputy Commissioner, CBSE Delhi Region. Subject, Invitation for Children's Day Celebration. Sir, Madam, we are pleased to inform you that our school is celebrating Children's Day on 14th November 2020 at 10 a.m. in the academic hall. We shall consider it a great honor and a favor if you could grace the occasion as the chief guest. Kindly confirm your availability by 10th November 2020. Yours sincerely, Rohit Mehra, head boy. So, uh, have you noticed that, you know, they have also requested that if you cannot accept the invitation mm. kindly, let us know. Let us know. Right. right. 
So replying to the invitations is a minimum courtesy hmm. one should have. Right. Even while declining the invitation or expressing the inability to attend, you must be polite and courteous. Right. Let us learn the characteristics of formal replies. Mm -hmm. We already know how to write an invitation, formal mm -hmm. invitation, mm -hmm. but we must also learn how to reply. reply. So ma'am, what are the characteristics of formal replies? Yes, we must know that characteristics of formal replies are acknowledge the invitation first of all. Right. Hmm? Hmm. Express thanks in the third person. These are some of the steps. If you keep these steps in mind, you will be able to draft your reply without any problem. Right. First of all, acknowledge the invitation. Express thanks in the third person. Mention acceptance or refusal. Mm -hmm. Specify the reason in case of refusal. Be specific and brief. Let us look at an example of the acceptance reply to a formal invitation below. So, uh, once again, Heman, may I request you to read it? Sure, ma'am. Link Road, Bhopal, 15th October 2020. Mrs. and Mr. Sharma have great pleasure in receiving the invitation from Mrs. and Mr. Sujoy Das for their son's marriage with the daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Bora on 18th October 2020 at Abhinandan Hotel, Nayagar. They confirm their presence on the occasion. With thanks, Mrs. and Mr. Sharma. Okay. So, they have replied to it. Yes, ma'am. Now, let us look at an example of the refusal reply to a formal invitation. Okay. Right, it can be written like this. Mm -hmm. Link Road, Bhopal. Mm -hmm. 15th October 2020. Pay attention. You have given your address. You have given the date. Right. These are important features or characteristics of writing, invitation. writing an invitation hmm. or writing a reply. reply. Now, the body of the reply is Mrs. and Mr. Sharma thank Mrs. and Mr. Sujoy Das for the invitation to their son's marriage on 18th October 2020 at Abhinandan Hotel, Nayagar. However, they express their inability to be present on the occasion due to a prior Indeed. engagement. With best wishes, Mrs. and Mr. Sharma. Right. Okay. So, this is how we write replies. Even when we want to refuse, we have to be polite. Mm -hmm. And very courteous. Very courteous, yes. Yes. So, till now we have discussed how to write formal invitations and reply to them. Now we will discuss how to write informal invitations. Yes, informal invitations are, are right, also very important. Right, ma'am. Informal invitations follow the pattern of personal letters. Mm -hmm. Such letters are written to friends, relatives and the ones with whom we have close relationship. Right. Let's look at the features of informal invitations. Mm -hmm. An informal invitation is written in the first or second person. Mm -hmm. It follows the pattern of personal letters. It is written to relatives, friends and acquaintances inviting them to attend an occasion right. like birthday, celebration, wedding anniversary, etc. It also has a salutation like dear XYZ mm -hmm. hmm, and a complimentary close like yours sincerely or yours affectionately. Hmm? Right, Sender's address appears on the left hand side. Hmm. The tone of an informal invitation is informal, friendly and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Personal feelings and emotions find an expression. expression. So therefore we have to choose those words right. that express our feelings. Mm -hmm. Various tenses are used to suit the sense of the invitation. Right. There can be present tense, there can be Future tense also, hmm. if, if you are describing something, what you have already done, mm -hmm. it will be described in past the tense. past tense. Right. The host address is given in the usual place. Mm -hmm. Do not exceed the word limit of 50 words right. because, you know, in the exam, the word hmm. limit is given. Right. You have to adhere to the word limit. Right. We must learn to write 
everything, let us look at an example of an informal invitation loop. House number 6 by 4, Link Road, New Bhopal. So the address has been given. Hmm? Leave one line, then write the date. It can be today's date, it can be the date on which you are writing. Mm -hmm. Then leave one line and start writing, Dear Akash, do join me for an evening get together at my residence D6 by 4 Link Road Bhopal on Sunday, 30th August at 5 pm. This is to celebrate my success in the IIT entrance examination. You will meet a lot of our school friends also. Looking forward to seeing you in the evening, Aniket. Now, even this letter can be replied, should be replied. Mm -hmm. Now, replies to informal invitations. The reply to an informal invitation includes casual words and expressions. Yes. It expresses personal feelings mm -hmm. or desires in a friendly and intimate style. Right. Hmm? Okay. Right, ma'am. Hmm. So, ma'am, how should one express his feelings uh, in a very cordial way? Okay. That's a good question. So, let us look at the characteristics of informal reply. Acknowledge the invitation in the first place. Right. Hmm? The next step is mention acceptance or regret. Specify the reason in case of refusal. Right. Do not use formal expressions. Hmm. Write like an ordinary letter. Right. Use friendly and simple language. Mm -hmm. Let us look at an example of the acceptance reply to an informal invitation. Uh, Hemant, would you like to read it for the students? Sure, ma'am. Yeah. House 74, New Market, Bhopal. Then you can give the date, 26th August 2020. Dear Aniket, many thanks for the invitation to the success party of your IIT entrance examination at your residence on Sunday, 30th August 2020. I will be delighted to enjoy the moment of your success celebration by joining you that day. In case I can be of any help to you in arranging the party, do write me unhesitatingly. Your sincerely, Akash. Yes. So that is how we write. It right. was very friendly. Right. Okay. Uh, in place of sincerely, we can also write affectionately. Right. Right. Or your friend also. Mm -hmm. Let us look back and look at the language once again. Mm -hmm. House 74, New Market, mm -hmm. Bhopal. Mm -hmm. You've given the address. Mm -hmm. hmm? Then date. Right. Then you begin with Dear Aniket. Right. Many thanks for the invitation to the success party of your IIT entrance examination at your residence on Sunday, 30th August 2020. Yes. So first of all, you have expressed your hmm. thanks. I will be delighted to enjoy the moment of your success celebrating by joining you on okay. that day. In case I can be of any help to you in arranging the party, do write to me unhesitatingly. Yours sincerely, Akash. Right. So, two, three things are there. Hmm. First, you have accepted. Yes, then you have expressed your happiness. Right. And then you have also extended help. Right. That if you need my help, mm. I will be available. Right. So there are three things and you have been able to express yourself beautifully. Right. Now let us look at an example of the refusal reply to an informal invitation. Right. Now let us look at it very carefully. Mm -hmm. House 74, New Market, Bhopal, 26 August 2020. Dear Aniket, Congratulations on getting success in the IIT entrance examination. I would have loved to join the success party at your residence on Sunday, 30th August 2020, but I will not be able to attend the moment of celebration due to my preoccupied engagement. Mm -hmm. Best wishes, yours sincerely, Akash. So very politely, Hmm. He has refused. He has refused right. and he has congratulated him also. Right. Expressed his happiness. Mm -hmm. That is what is important. Right. Let us sum up now. We have introduced you to the different forms, formats and characteristics of invitations. We have also taken you through various examples to help you 
learn how to draft invitations for different occasions. We hope you have found it useful and interesting. While writing, make sure that you use punctuation marks appropriately. Punctuation marks are essential when you are writing. Show the reader where your sentences start and finish. Make your writing easy to understand. Punctuation marks also help structure and organize your writing. And of course, follow the process approach to writing. Process approach to writing needs to be followed whatever you may write. Begin with brainstorming, generating ideas. Generating ideas means plan what you are going to write. Vocabulary, points that you want to write. Then start the very act of writing. Whether it is a reply or it is an invitation, which format are you going to use? So decide on that and then start writing. Once you have written it, you must review and revise it. Right. You can share it with your friends if you are writing it in the class or even via email. Mm -hmm. Your friends can give you ideas. This is known as peer assessment. Right. They can tell you, you can use these words instead mm. of this word. Mm. Then you revise it on your own. Then the next step is editing. Right. Here you are going to look at punctuation marks. If you want to change a particular word or you want to change the setting. Mm -hmm. So you are looking at it holistically. Right. Then comes the final step and that is rewriting. That we may call it the final draft of writing. Right. Before you submit it to your teacher. Right. Right. So therefore you must follow the process approach to writing mm -hmm. for every kind of writing. Right. With this we have come to the end of this session. Right. Thank you for being with us. Right. So in this module as ma'am has very clearly discussed about the invitation and its form. So keep writing and keep inviting people and keep replying also them very cordially. Thank you.